the man the Mets want up in this spot, down a run late in the game. Walking up, I did have an amazing sense of calm and perception as far as feeling that people were supporting me. Two doubles and three trips. The magnitude of the situation, everybody knew what it was. Uh, you can feel the emotion building. Uh, Mike came up, first pitch, to, to a pretty good fastball on the outer half for strike one. Baseball, nothing in one. I tried to repeat that pitch, and, and the ball leaked back a little bit out over the middle of the plate, and Mike put a good swing on it. I knew it was gone. Lopez wants it away. And it's a deep to left center. Andrew Jones on the run. This one has a chance. Go run by Piazza. And the Mets lead three to two. It just happened to come full circle, right? I grew up five, eight miles from Shea Stadium, grew up in New York City. And then uh, at, that, at that particular moment, I happened to be standing on the mound would say probably one of the biggest home runs that uh, happened at Shea Stadium. The way it played out and all of the casting characters and then our superstar hits the game-winning home run, it's, I just wonder 20 years later, and it's no knock on any one of my teammates that year, zero knock, but if it was anybody other than Mike Piazza, would it have been, would it have been as significant? It would be significant, but I think Mike just moves it a little further. It was something I'll never forget, and, and I, I never liked losing, but you could tell we were going to lose that game. There was just a higher power that was, you know, taking place that night. I tell you, I had some big games with Shea, but I just think that the home run that Mike hit 10 days later after 9-11. That was pretty impressive. You know, for that three hours that we played the game or whatever time limit on that game was, we put a Band-Aid on a big wound and uh, uh, we helped the people forget for a couple of hours, but uh, we'll never forget, that's for sure. Just a feeling of being very grateful that I was in the right place at the right time and I was able to come through. Just honor, being honored, the fact that so many people relate to it. That's what, it'll always be with me. It's on my Hall of Fame plaque. So it'll be here long after I'm gone. It, that's a pretty daunting thing to think about as well.